company has a concept car, a research vehicle crammed with futuristic ideas. And the emphasis nowadays is on technology which helps the environment. Now this car uses, incidentally Hans here is one of the people who developed this car, this car uses 30% less petrol than today's cars because the fuel is injected directly into the cylinders during combustion. It's a little bit like a diesel with a diesel's fuel economy but without those pollution problems that we were hearing about earlier. Now this car is also designed to reduce one of the most common forms of accident. It uses infrared lasers to detect the car in front and warns you if you're getting too close. But there is one more trick here which Hans has been setting up for us. You okay there Hans? Okay, okay it's on his way. Yes. Are you going to jump out? I think you better escape. Quick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now this is the... Uh, this. Ah, uh, oh, we've got a problem there, have we? Well, we've probably got more idea. Okay, yeah. we're going to do oh. it once more. What this is going to do for us, hopefully, if Hans can get it to work, is to, um, is to park itself between these two blocks here. That represents a car in front and a car behind. And the way that it does it is that a computer in the boot there controls the direction of the axles. And if we get it to work, you'll see that the front wheels turn like that, the rear wheels turn like that, and it goes sort of crab-like into the corner there. How's it going? Oh, I think it's going well. We're on its way. It's yes, yes, OK. I think, you see, the wheels are turning in these opposite different directions, all controlled by the computer down there. Now, it knows where it's going because the infrared sensors on the front and rear are telling it how far away it is from each of those two cars there. And there are also ultrasound detectors along the side which are looking at the curb and also detecting if any pedestrians might have stepped out. So if a child, for instance, came out after a ball, it would just cut down, shut down the complete parking procedure until you activated it again. That's obviously an extra safety precaution. Now, it's particularly fussy about what it's doing uh, with its parking, but it will do it in a second. Now, that's all we've got time for for this evening. I shall drive it away in the same mode now. So, till next week, good night. Take me home, Fritz, and don't spare the rubber. And if you'd like a copy of the poster, please send a cheque or postal order for £3 payable to Tomorrow's World Poster and a self-addressed label to Tomorrow's World Poster, BBC Television, London W12, 7RJ. Sport is on the line over on two in a moment with Sue Mott and Ray Stubbs, including a look at the uncertain career prospects for football managers and the moves to force tennis back from the wham-bam of surf and volley. There's a great new look to Saturday evening's entertainment here on BBC One. Three quick questions. What? When? Where? The answer is that show business is back. Hope you can join me for more fun on Takeover Bid, the show where it's better to receive than to give. Oh, I love, I love it when they pinch each other's... What's that? <laughs> then I'll take over to introduce the grand final of Opportunity Knocks. The ten best acts of the series will perform so that you, the viewers, can vote for your favourite. There's a sparkle to Saturday on One. And now on One, another 30 minutes of fantasy with Russ Abbott.